Orgasm of Fury. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This one here is for the ladies, but it's not what you think. This is more like me telling you, look, we get it. You got assets. We, we get that. We, we know. We understand. But I'm going to tell you how I feel if I'm in a relationship with a woman. All that instant gratification that you're looking for on social media, you got dead that shit. And this is not me being possessive, jealous or anything. This is me thinking from a logical standpoint. If you are not... In a relationship, go ahead, knock yourself out. Be my guest. But it's not going to help you get in a good relationship. It's not going to help you get in one. If you are constantly dangling your assets out there like a carrot. And you expect that you're going to pick up a nice, respectable man. You have another thing coming to you. And back to what I was saying about being in a relationship with myself. I'm not saying saying I'm, oh, I'm this, I'm king this, I'm king that. No, this is about a matter of respect. If you're with a man and you respect him, why are you constantly advertising yourself, taking these dirt strap pictures and all these dolled up selfies if you're in a relationship with a man? No man respects that. This is why... You can't find you a good relationship based on you throwing your looks out there as your selling point. Yes, looks are a selling point, but your character, your compatibility, all of that factors in with that. Your looks are like icing on the cake. Yes, that's what, unfortunately, that's what everybody goes for. But you realize you're just putting lipstick on the pig like... David Carroll says and he's correct about that if you are not right from within then that goes for men too but I'm talking about women here if you're not right from within you're not going to nail you the woman or man you want you're not but as for you ladies you can't be on social media throwing out thirst traps and you have you a full on relationship and a man right there in the bed next to you like, I look at you like, you know what? We're through. I mean that. If you are constantly advertising yourself to your male Facebook friends, your Instagram followers, all of that. If you throwing yourself out there, you throwing all these hashtags on there to get men's attention. That's a disrespect to the man you're with. And any man who decides to stay with a woman like that, shame on you. Seriously. Shame on you. This is why I don't like these OnlyFans females out here doing this shit. I really don't. Because you come to find out a lot of these guys are in relationships with women like that. And that that's disgusting on her part. And that is extremely shameful on his part. Detect the lie. We got women who are 40 to 50 years old putting up thirst traps. And then you got to watch out for the, the, the typical putting God, it's in God's hands, you know, I'm blessed and all that. You, the typical BS you hear when you see uh, selfies and pictures like that. We get it. You're gorgeous for a woman that's aging. We, we get it. But what's missing from that? You don't have your good relationship because you spent so many years liking what you like, despite knowing it's not good for you. And now you are here. You are two decades later, two to four children later, and you want to be back out there trying to restart the glory that you have lost because of your own negligence. I mean, it may sound cruel, but it is what it is. That's like, imagine me spending my whole life f- up to now until recently just in a haze of booze, hookers, and shit like that. And then 
I'm walking around wondering like, wow, what, what's going on? What, what, you know, why haven't things turned out in a better and a more positive light? It's because I was not moving in a positive manner. I might put on a face, you know, like a lot of these females I was talking about in these pictures, talking about God and all this other stuff, throwing religion into it. No, you see, my problem with people who throw religion into their shortcomings is that they aren't following their so-called religion. They're not following moral guidelines in general. Because I'm going by a moral standpoint. You know, I'm not a religious person. I go by a moral standpoint. And I go by respect, too. You're not respecting yourself. You are behaving immoral. Or you are attracted to people who are in an immoral standpoint. And then you still expect positive results. That's insanity. Hands down, simple. It's insanity. And... To end this video, I'm just I just have to say, if I'm in a relationship with a female, that whole selfies everyday thing, that gotta stop. And that's not me being jealous because look, they see me, they see you, they know what I have, they see how gorgeous you are. You don't constantly have to throw it at them. Because any man with logic and common sense is going to take that as a disrespect and that the fact that you are not into this relationship, despite what you may say. So think about that from a logic standpoint. Stop trying to always do what you want to do because you're in a relationship. That shit has to end because I, for one, won't be able to do everything I want to do because why? I have a significant other. I can't go out drinking with my friends um, and go to CD bars and go-go bars like that. I might as well just be single. And with you doing these cleavage shots, these booty shots and stuff like that, you pretty much should be single too. You pretty much should be single too if you're just going to behave like that. But I digress. So as usual... Because I'm a fury, I'm here, and now I'm out. Peace.